I think it might be a scientific breakthrough, breakthrough, but where men are concerned and voluntarily expecting that men would come and take this uh, contraceptive, I think it's a huge challenge. Though we know that if they can be educated and will be convinced that there will be no uh, side effects, of course, the bill is saying that there are no side effects to either their hormones or to their so-called performance. And if it really happens, then we know that at least women's burdens would be reduced. It will not go away altogether, but it would be reduced. We also know that contraceptive pills that are there for women have hormonal side effects. And it is an invasive uh, procedure also. Whereas in this one, all of that is not there. And I do hope that men understand that this is not going to do anything to their so-called manliness or masculinity. But again, like uh, doctor pointed out, it's going to take a long time because we know even today that over 90 to 95 percent of men don't know that a boy child is born because of the Y chromosomes in the men. And so women suffer the brunt of, you know, two girl children, three girl children and all of the other violence that comes with it. But that said, I'm also looking at another part, uh, which is also a serious concern, especially in cases of uh, sexual assault, abuse and rape. It is going to bring in a lot of challenges, forensic challenges, of course, uh, legal, social and ethical challenges, because uh, we know that these are things that would be misused. Sorry to use that word. Uh, also, because perpetrators are there out, uh, rapists are there. And we know that uh, people in positions of power, especially in institutions or people who have control over children and women in some kind of a structural setup may also misuse something like this. And that there is no way for us to prove, uh, uh, not that we are doing great just now, but at least there is a DNA to prove that, yes, this was, rape was, uh, con you know, uh, I was subjected to rape and uh, consent was not taken. And no matter how many lies he says, there was a DNA that you could have proven. So that would become a big challenge uh, in the days to come whenever this happens. So we are looking at the government itself to look at healthcare policies and probably newer laws uh, to strengthen and safeguard women and women's position 